Hey guys, this is Comic Uno and LRM Online, and today I'm doing Comic Uno, the weekly roundup, episode 18. So let's get started and talk about some news. So I did get some uh, more news stories this weekend because of the TCAs with the CW, uh, but let's get started. The first news piece is that the CW is to uh, is making a Charmed reboot. So I'm a fan of Charmed. I think I first binge watched a show when I was like in grammar school, like eighth or seventh grade. So it's definitely been a while since I watched it episode from episode f uh, for the first time. But I, I still watch the show um, every once in a while. I think it's still on Netflix. Uh, so I'll watch my favorite episodes. Um, I like the later seasons. I, I'm I'm a fan of Paige, so uh, I like her seasons a bit more. Uh, but do we need a Charmed reboot in place the the settings in the 70s uh, do we need that i don't know i feel like it hasn't been that long ago since charmed has been off air it ended like in the 2000s and i mean i like witches shows but do we need another charm show especially because it's not going to really do anything with the original charmed ones with the charmed charmed ones from our our tv show it's gonna be a period piece which is kind of weird uh so I don't know if I'm really excited for it, but I'm gonna give it a try and see what news comes out of it, but I, I don't think we needed a Charmed reboot. Moving on to some comic book news. Nick Fury is going to be getting an ongoing series, so uh, I'm not a huge Nick Fury fan, uh, so I probably won't get this, but I do like the creative team, and from what we saw in the interior, it looks kind of cool. So if you are a Nick Fury fan, this could be an interesting series. Now moving on to some news that came out from the TCAs, the, the winter TCAs, which is Legends of Tomorrow, The Flash, Arrow, and Supergirl have been renewed, and, and uh, attached to that, um, we also have Supernatural, uh, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, and Jane the Virgin. Um, I still have to catch up with Jane the Virgin, I, I want to binge that show, and Supernatural, I, I don't think I'll ever binge, because it's like, what season are they up to now? Um, it's It's been on for a very long time, so it was shocking that I got renewed, and at the same time, it's not. And Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, I heard a lot of good stu uh, stuff from, I don't know if it's my type of show, so I haven't watched it. But of course I do watch Legends of Tomorrow, The Flash, Arrow, and Supergirl. Uh, I do re reviews on all those shows on my channel and Legends of Tomorrow I do a podcast for. And I'm excited and happy for all these renewals. I think the, the two that didn't shock me at all, like I, we knew was going to get renewed, was Supergirl and The Flash. And then Arrow, I mean, we all kind of knew it was going to get renewed, but there was that up-in-the-air question that, oh, the show is supposed to end only um, with the five years on the island type thing. So at least we know they were getting a, a sixth uh, season uh, the show that started all of this, and then Legends of Tomorrow, um, I'm really happy for. I know that was the show with the lower ratings out of all the DC shows, but I'm very happy to see that renewed and also see how much um, of an episode order it will, it will have. I'm sure we're going to learn that in May when the upfronts uh, end up happening. But very excited and happy for those early renewals. I know that Frequency and No Tomorrow did not get renewed, but they did mention that you know, we, we have to see how the mid-season shows go. They were never planned to be more than 13 episodes, so really it all depends if people watch it on Netflix. Um, I really enjoyed uh, Frequency. I'm maybe an episode or two behind, but I thought that was a really well-written show. I didn't watch No Tomorrow because the plot didn't seem like it would go you know, past the season, but Frequency I really enjoyed, and I hope that gets renewed, and I've heard good stuff about No Tomorrow. Now moving on to Sabrina might be showing up in Riverdale, which is cool. So they might be adding some magical uh, influence to the Riverdale show, which uh, I think it was the executive producer mentioned a lot of people don't even know Sabrina's from Archie. So now people will know that Sabrina's from Archie, which she is. And I, I do agree. I think comic book fans know that, but people who watch the Melissa Joan Hart show... I think they just knew it was a TV show and that's it and that Melissa Joan Hart was in it. I love that show and I, I would love to see how Sabrina will be added into this crazy world of Riverdale. Now the last news piece was that Constantine is getting an animated CW seed web show which uh, for the Constantine fans I think that's great. Um, I personally am not a huge Constantine fan so I don't know if I'll watch it 
But I am happy for the hardcore fan base that's been really rooting for this. And then, of course, Matt Ryan, who's going to be a voice act or already recorded the the movie, but uh, what's going to be released is Just League Dark. He's the voice actor for Constantine there. It's cool that he is the true face of Constantine. And we'll see if the CW seed... Uh, show will continue his show. I don't know if it ended on a cliffhanger or not, but we'll see uh, exactly what direction it will take. So uh, I'm excited for the fans who really enjoy Constantine. So that's all the news for this week. We're going to move on to TV shows because I didn't see a movie uh, this week. I think the next movie I'm planning to see is the last chapter of Resident Evil. Yeah, weird movie to see, but I think that'll be the next one I watch. So let's move on to TV shows. We're still on the hiatus period. Of course, I, I saw my uh, ABC comedies this week. Um, I caught up on Superstore, uh, Superstore which I really enjoyed. Uh, but the binge show, I actually binged two shows, but the one I'm going to be talking about is Assassination Classroom. The other show I binged was Degrassi The Next Class because I watched the last season because it was the reunion episode and I didn't think the cast was too bad and they left us on a cliffhanger where we're like, all right, I want to watch this next season. So I did watch the next season and, and I, it surprised me. I thought it was much better than what we've been getting with Degrassi. Uh, but let's talk about the show I really enjoyed uh, binging, which was Assassination Classroom. It's a two-season anime and it was heart-wrenching. I was surprised because, you know, it kind of has this crazy concept of your students killing a, a, a teacher with a smiley face and tentacles, but they make it about the importance of a student-teacher relationship, the, the importance of how a student can grow with that relationship, and, and seeing an ensemble cast of 28 people actually being characters and, and not just people in the background. Uh, I will say I wasn't the biggest fan of the main character, uh, but he's still likable enough and really all the characters are very likable and the ending was really satisfying, so it's 100% worth binge watching these 48, 47 episodes. It goes by really quickly and it's a show I really recommend, so I, I feel bad that it took me so long to binge watch this. Um, I did binge watch it in English dub. I usually wait for the dub, uh, so check it out if you haven't. So now we're moving on to some comic books. My pick of the week this week, um, I did have a smaller week, but I really did enjoy this book, and that was Batman issue 14. Uh, I was surprised by this because Batman's been a little slower for me since the last arc, which I think was I Am Suicide, and now we're in a very small arc of just analyzing Batman and Catwoman's relationship, and if you're a fan of this relationship, I think you'll love this issue. It's uh, Catwoman's last night before she goes to jail forever, and... You see how different but similar these two characters are, and it, it was a really good character-driven issue, and I was very impressed with the art style of how they concentrated in the, uh, on the diamonds in the sky, the, the stars, and, and like I said, the relationship in general. So I really enjoyed this issue. I gave it four and a half stars. Now moving on to the books I am most anticipating for this week, which I have a lot of books for this week. Uh, I think like 29 books or 28 books. It's a big pull list. Uh, so starting with number three, my third most anticipated is Spider-Man issue 12, which we're finally going to find out why Miles and Gwen are hooking up. And I want to know a little bit more about this relationship. So I'm excited for this arc. Number two is another spider-related title, The Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, Issue 3. Uh, I, I've been enjoying this book. I, I think it's fun, and I'm excited to see, uh, I was just going to say Mae's character, any Mae's character um, in her point of view, because so far we've gotten a focus issue on Peter, on Mary Jane, and now it looks like it's going to be focusing on Annie Mae, so I'm, I'm excited for this issue. And then my most anticipated book this week is Just League Power Rangers Issue 1. I'm a huge fan of Power Rangers and I'm excited to see them teaming up with our favorite DC characters. And this is written by one of my favorite writers, Tom Taylor. So very excited to read this book. So those are my most anticipated books for this week. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about all the topics I talked about this week. And this is Comic You Know and LRM Online. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.